post hibernation update on Campanatus nearcticus. This was a mature colony that we collected last year, as if you're watching the video series, in a wood pile that was going to be used, so they were doomed, and we collected them, and they did really well. They probably had about 500 workers going into hibernation. And they came out uh, doing very well, uh, an amazing amount of brood, and the queen is laying already. And uh, they are ravenous to feed. Um, to feed, we we have a, a top that we use, which is a snap-on top with a 300. I don't know if you can even see that that film right there. It's nylon mesh, 300 micro nylon mesh, and there's a fluon barrier also. And the Arcticus are. Are an arboreal species, so they climb very well, but they cannot get out of this. They they literally never escape. So this is their habitat. This is their formicarium. That is the litter box where they dump their trash, and you can see they have a little trash pile there. And they are in the process right now of cleaning up their outworld. It had a lot of junk in there from last year. I cleaned it some, but they're cleaning it up more. I just fed them uh, I don't know two or three hundred fruit flies. <laughs> Is they are really hungry and uh, they I'll show you how many it's been I don't know maybe five or ten ten minutes at the most and look at the fruit fly carcasses that they have lined up already in this tube so they went out there these are all live flies they went out there and they just brutalized these flies <laughs> so how aggressive ants hunt it clearly is determined by by how much larva they have to feed. Uh, if you have a colony that doesn't have larva, because you know pupa don't eat, eggs don't eat, it's larva that eats. Ants don't really need protein uh, unless they have larva, because ants are more like robots. You know they wear out and die. They don't really rebuild and need protein to rebuild. Adult ants don't. Uh, not very much, at least. So the protein requirement really is dependent primarily on the larva, and I'll show you in a second how many larvae they have, and you'll see why they are so ravenous for these flies. We have other colonies that I dump a bunch of flies in there, and they literally walk right over them. I have a sea pen that I can show you that that they don't—they just walk right by the flies. They don't care because they have like very few larvae that overwinter. But these guys had a ton. They did really well over the winter. There was like almost no die-off. So you can compare those to the previous ones. Uh, about the same population, obviously, is the video I took right before hibernation, but they've cleaned out some of the chambers, and I'll give you a close-up of uh, some of the areas. Here's the entry tube, you know, dead, dead flies, dead flies, dead flies, and then this is the initial chamber. There's brood there, chamber number two, lots of brood there, chamber number three, I have to Angle the camera because it doesn't fit. A lot of brood there. A lot of brood there. Brood there. Brood there. Brood there. In the master chamber, this is the chamber where it's the hottest and wettest, and it's just the carpet of larva. <laughs> so I, there are more larva in this colony right now than there are adult ants. So this thing, in a month uh, or so, literally, they'll go from 500 to 1,000 ants. Um, and the queen is very physicastric. Let me see if I can find her. I saw her just before I started filming. You probably saw her. Oh, yeah, there she is, yeah. She is very physogastric. She's right. Take the angle of the reflection's killing me. Killing me, Smalls. There you go. So yeah, her her abdomen uh, is enormous compared to what it was uh, last year. So she is really going into overdrive right now. And these guys are going to grow like crazy. Um, they're going to be, like I said, a thousand in four or six weeks. And, you know, they may be 1,500, 2,000 by the end of the summer. I don't know. But this is, they're doing really, really well. I fully expect to see elates uh, 
for sure. So that is it. Um, we'll give another update at the end of the year. Bye.